Hi, I'm here with Aaron Davies, the Director of Developer Relations at Oculus VR, and uh, we're about to take a look at some new technology. Can you tell us what we're going to see? Yeah, we're really excited to show you the Crystal Cove prototype, which is our new uh, prototype that we're showing at CES. Uh, the two key points that we want to talk about today are that it has positional tracking, which is your ability to move around full six degree of freedom, and also low persistence, which effectively eliminates motion blur and judder. So it's a really comfortable experience, and it's a lot of fun. Introduces some new gameplay elements. OK, Anthony, so I'm going to let you put on the okay. Crystal Cove prototype here. Grabbing it here. Yep. All right, oh, is that cool. comfortable for you? Yes, it is. Okay, Maybe a little great. tighter in the back. Yeah, Good? Comfortable? Good. Yeah, yeah. OK, great. Positional tracking is actually one of the big features of Crystal Cove that we're excited to share with you. So what you're doing now is you can lean in and out. You can lean side to side. And you have just a really natural range of motion. Does that feel a little bit different from what you saw last year at CES? <laughs> this is, yeah, this is yeah. a whole different world. Yeah, whole different world. The second thing that you want to look at is low persistence. So if you actually pick something and focus on it in the scene, maybe one of those little pillars or a staircase, and then just move your head back and forth, you should notice that there's effectively no motion blur at all. Right, yeah. It should feel really comfortable. Right. So we're really excited to be showing people the low persistence technology. Right. And then I'm going to give you a controller here, mm -hmm. and you can use that hit the start button, and then you can start the uh, tower defense game. Okay. Super simple, really doesn't need a lot of explanation, but it's a lot of fun to focus on moving your head in, look at the guys up close, see what they're doing. <laughs> there you go. And then you can lean back out, and you have the whole perspective of that table right in front of you. So there's just a really nice, natural range of motion. I like to sort of lean in and then sweep left and right, okay. look across the table. Oops. There you go. OK, so the first thing I want to do for you here mm -hmm. is just sit where you feel comfortable, your natural mm -hmm. position, sitting in that chair. And then I'm going to reset your forward-looking view. OK. So now, uh, before I hand you the controller, what I want you to do is the exact same thing we did in the last demo. Lean in, take a look at the UI controls that you've got in there. <laughs> so that's the position tracking you're looking at. Let me just double check and make sure. OK, so now I'm going to turn on the low persistence mode. If you'd look at the text, for example, on the UI here, and you sort of turn your head slightly. It really doesn't blur or smudge at all. OK, so I'm going to give you a controller. Mm -hmm. Your left trigger is the missiles. You use your head to lock on to an enemy using okay. that. So take a look to your left, for example, right now, and hold that left trigger in. If you're looking at them and you get that reticle on them, the missile mm -hmm. will lock on, and then you let go to release the missiles. OK. Your right trigger is guns. OK. And then your A button is thrust. OK. So we're going to launch you now. Good luck. Yeah, the thumbsticks will actually control the ship. <laughs> An important detail. <laughs> it's a beautiful experience to actually just look through the cockpit, look up at the explosion you just passed, look at the <laughs> asteroids that you're flying by. Our natural tendency is to want to move that reticle to where the enemy is, but the nice thing is there's new gameplay that's introduced by VR, by the head tracking, by gaze detection. That was awesome. <laughs>